What up, Alchemist? Today I want to go over debugging a Phoenix app. Uh, this is great knowledge to have if you're starting out with Phoenix and Ecto and you don't have a grasp on how um, all the data is modeled and you really want to dive in and take a look at that. Um, so the first thing I do is I start up the Phoenix server inside of an IEX um, session here. All right, we got that going. You see, getting some output, you know, local host. Let's come over here and say we edit something. And you see, you know, we're getting stuff out, but we still are inside the IAX shell. All right, so say I wanted to take a look at this here, some update. Um, so I'm coming over here to the controller for the user and like, what's a change set? I don't know. What does it look like? How's it modeled? Um, if you're used, to, <laughs> if you're used to doing this, I inspect change set. Stop it. There's a better way. I O inspect actually returns what you inspect. Um, so you can inline it, and it won't mess up your program. Inspect. All right. So let's edit this model here. Let's take out. Let's change the name, submit, and come back over here. And you see right here, bam, we got our output of data. It's ecto change set, it's a struct, um, it's got changes in a map, uh, real great. So inlining the stuff, super cool. Do this from now on, stop writing it out on your own line, you're just wasting time. All right, so what if you want to play with this data? Um, what you need to do is pry it open. So let's require IEX here. And then let's go back to our update. Oops. Yeah. Update. All right. And then let's say we want to jump in right here and take a look at this data. Pry. All right, so let's come over here and edit this record again. Oh, I uh, mistyped up here, require IEX. All right, let's give that another go. Perfect. All right, so let's take an edit here. Uh, we're updating, hit the button, server's going to hang. Uh, do you want to connect? Yes, I do. All right. So now we've got a new shell, um, and I believe what it does is it copies over the environment. So if we inspect this environment here, you can see that we have everything um, inside of here that we would uh, normally have um, inside of, where was that inside the controller? So we've got aliases for the repo, uh, alias for the user, you know, everything set up. Um, we have the different values um, saved in here for the change set and everything. So let's take a look here. The change set. So we've got our change set. We see that it's got the changes. Um, changes, we change the name here. Uh, it's got the phone number and all that stuff. Now, since this is a copy, if you make any changes, um, like say you set the you re rebound change set to nil, you know, so change set is now nil, and then you respawn the process. So if you look over here, oops, our browser still hanging, right? Still waiting for a response on the server. Let's say you respawn it. Now we set the change set to nil. That that didn't happen. So we still updated our name. Um, so it's just a copy. Feel free to play with any of the data inside there. You're not going to mess anything up. Um, all, all the data is just copied over and it's thrown away um, when you respawn back to the process. Um, so that's pretty cool. All right, so the last thing I want to show you is um, doing a console. So typically, I'll get in here. And say we're running, um, usually when I'm in here, I want to run queries on data. Um, I want to look at my models, um, see what's going on, play around with them, different queries and stuff. So let's do that. So, so VA, repo, all, 
VA user. All right, so we've got one user. His name is Corey Schmidt. Okay, so let's let's say we wanted to run a query on that. So you have to go VA repo, and then pass in a query from you in VA user where the u dot name is equal to Corey and the spaces there Schmidt. All right. Oh, an undefined function from. Ah, oh, that means we don't have from, so we got to get that from ecto query. So let's re our import ecto query. Okay, now we have an ecto query. Let's try that again, and there we go. I don't. I don't like having to do this every time. Um, so there is a better way to do this, and that's um, a config file for ix. So if you have one of these in the root of your project um, and you fire up IEX, it'll look for that. You can also have this in your home directory. So let's write one here. All right, so we want to alias uh, VA repo. Let's alias VA uh, user. All right, and then let's import ecto query and let's only import uh, from to all right, so now we have this in the root of our project. Let's try firing up IX again and see how much nicer this makes things. All right, so repo all, we don't have to do the VA anymore, um, from you in user, don't need the VA on that anymore, uh, where name, oh, you dot name is Corey Schmidt. Awesome! So much less typing. Um, so you can throw anything you you want in that the IEX e, EXS file. Um, it'll make things faster. It'll make your debugging and your uh, you know just playing around with the data a lot better. Um, super helpful. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, subscribe to this channel if you want more videos, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks. Bye.